there's some new sensor related stuff in Tasker that you can now play with. For example, there's a new state called any sensor. If you use the any sensor state, you can then use the helper to select a sensor and this will detect all the sensors on your phone automatically. So depending on your phone, different stuff may appear here. For example, this Pixel 2 has a gravity sensor and with this helper you can select to to make your phone to make this state active when the phone is between one and the other situation. So for example, if I want to detect if my phone is on this stand here, on this wooden stand, I want to I want it to be between like this situation and this situation and with the margin of maybe like three. So between between these these values and these values with a margin of three of error, or maybe two, three is too much. And now it automatically uh, builds the state for me in all of these conditions. And then in this task, I'll just do a flash, for example, on stand. And now this profile as you see as you see uh, saw down below there's a flash showing that the profile was active and now the profile is green while it's on the stand but if I pick it up it's no longer green if I put it back on the stand it goes back to being enabled again if I put it this way, for example, it's not enabled. If I put this this way, it's enabled again. So this is a very easy way to detect if this device is on the stand. And I can use any, any uh, sensor on my phone to do whatever I want. For example, I can use, let's see, brightness. Hmm, I don't think that works. Let's see, not brightness, but uh, light, maybe? Yeah, there's a light one here. Okay, so the first situation, let's say I want this to be enabled between this amount of light and this amount, and like this amount of light. So between 42 and 62. And as you can see, I can also uh, declare an interval for which, for which that I will use to check these values. So in this example, it will be checked every, uh, every second, 1000 milliseconds. But I can change this to 100, for example, to make it more sensible. Let's use a flash, right? Okay, so now this should be active whenever that value of light is detected. Let's see if I can make it go on. Yep, there it is, light. Now it's gone. Light, and now if I cover it completely, it's below that value, so it no longer it's no longer enabled. And similarly, there's another is, is another sensor uh, related event. So if you go to sensor, any sensor in events, you can also use event sensors. For example, I can detect uh, the double twist gesture on my phone. Let's see. I, I'll use the say action so you can it's easier to understand that it works double twist and now if I double twist my device let's see if I can get it working double twist. right 
that was a little quiet. Double twist. Double twist. It works. And as you can see, you can use any sensor on the device. So on your device, there can be a different number of set of sensors. For example, let's see. Um, tilt detector that can be useful as well. Let's see if it works. Oh, sorry, tilt detector, and now I'll, I can see what values the sensor has when it detects a change. So let's flash these values. And now if I tilt my device, no, I don't think. Oh yeah, there it is, 0, 0.0. If I put it this way, 0, 0.0. So every time the device is tilt, tilted, hmm. <laughs> I don't actually know how m most of these sensors work, so you you just have to experiment with it with them a bit. I know there is another one, oh, this device orientation one, which is a good one because when it's your device is standing up, it shows a 0, 0.0. If your device is like this, it shows a 1.0. If your device is like this, it shows a 2.0. And if your device is like this, it shows a 3.0. So anytime your device orientation changes, changes, you can see what value it has and act on it. And finally, you can also have an action related to sensors. Sensor. Uh, there are two new actions actually the test sensor and the sensor info. Let's start with the test sensor. So, for example, let's, let's test what device orientation my phone is. So, as you saw before, I can now look at these values and if I test this it's on 0, 0.0 but if I use my phone this way and if I test this it will show one oh sorry I can't see it there it will show 1.0 and with this you can test any sensor on your phone and see what value it has at any given time for example, let's test the gravity. This is the current value for gravity. Of course, there are sensors that you cannot test, but for example, I think if you use this test on a on an event sensor like the double twist one, this will wait until you do the gesture Double twist. and then it will return so any sensor that is an event sensor you can check the, 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 def the details for the sensor by using the long click on it you can see that as a special trigger these kinds of sensors will do this they will wait until they are triggered so, they, so the task continues with, this, with its value and finally, we have the sensor info action, which will simply show all of the information for a given sensor. So let's see, for example, the bin brightness sensor, whatever that is. It has all of these variables related to it. We can see the sensor type string, for example. Sensor type string. Sorry. It's a bin brightness. Okay, let's see something more interesting. Um, is it wake up? Does it wake up your device? Yes, it's a wake up sensor. How much power it uses? What's the resolution of it? Sensor. Yeah, all kinds of stuff. So this is all of the new sensor stuff that's available in Tasker and 
I hope you enjoyed it and have fun playing with it. Bye.